Mega Man Legends 3 is just an eventuality. Listen up, because I got a crazy theory for all of you. So let's just jump right into the sh- Alright, so as many of you may know, look, Mega Man, he's kind of, uh, in a dark place right now. After all, since 11, it's really only been collection here, collection there, collection everywhere. So many, yet I found something really, really strange, okay? This might just be me, but we started with a classic collection, then the X collection, then the Zero ZX collection, then... Battle Network? Uh, huh? Now, hold on a second. Listen, Capcom, I know how this timeline stuff works. Legends is the next game after Zero and ZX. And Mega Man Battle Network came out before Zero and ZX, so it's not like they were doing these in chronological order based on the first game's release. No, they were seemingly doing this on timeline basis, which I mean, hey, I'm perfectly down with. If anything, this theory will only be proven correct if Mega Man Star Force is the next collection we get. And considering that they've already experimented on dual screens with ZX and ZX Advent, I don't think it's impossible to say that we could get that Star Force collection sometime in the future. It'd be really interesting. But this is where things actually get interesting. You see, Legends only has, what, two games? Three, yeah, Tron Bond Adventures, can't forget about that one. And as we all know, this game was left on a cliffhanger. Now, I hate cliffhangers, but that's a story for another day on how much I despise these things. Now listen, I know Legends 3 was supposed to happen, okay? It was supposed to happen, we were so close, but it was also during that dark period of Capcom where a lot of games were announced and a lot of them didn't even make it. I mean, remember Mega Man Universe? But listen, there were other cancelled projects during that time. Remember Darkstalkers? Yeah. Yeah, I bet you remember that one too, right? Oh my goodness, so many projects announced, and yet not many of them came out, and Legends 3 was a victim of this. Especially with Keiji Nifune's leave? I mean, honestly, dude should have probably stayed. I mean, have you seen the game he worked on after he left Capcom? Ugh. And wasn't there another game he was kickstarting? And, and hey, I'm still waiting for my PS Vita and 3DS ports of my number 9. Get, get do it, KG, come on! Uh, uh, you know what? It's probably never going to happen. So where does this crazy Legends 3 theory come in? Well, it's pretty simple. I believe that when a Legends collection does happen, it will not only include 1, 2, and Tron Bond Adventures, but the elusive Mega Man Legends 3 as a huge selling point for the game. Listen. The game, as far as I'm aware, was supposed to come out on the 3DS. And while I am unsure on how far along Legends 3 development was, I can say that, at the very least, there were probably already ideas. Enough ideas that if Capcom wanted to pick back up the project, they could simply put back together the pieces and make a clean, finished product. At least, that's my own opinion. And that's why I think a Legends 3 is possible, but I think it's going to happen with this collection. Again, it's just a conspiracy theory, but Capcom knows people want Legends 3. It's been so long. And please, make other Mega Man games. You know, why is it that the only source of enjoyment I've been getting from this freaking franchise are model kits? Let's end the video here. Thank you all so much for watching. Please, take care of yourselves, and have an amazing day. Peace. Right.